Hello everyone and let me show you another very instructive chess game by Paul Morphy. And this time Paul Morphy is playing with the black pieces and once again his opponent is Samuel Bowden. And this game was played in London in 1858. So Samuel Bowden starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to b5. We have the Spanish opening, knight to f6, d4. E takes on d4, e5, attacking the knight, knight to d5. And after this move, Bowden castled. Paul Morphy played, bishop to c5, c3. Also Paul Morphy castled, c takes on d4, attacking the bishop, bishop to b6, and Bowden is controlling the center, bishop to c4, attacking the knight. Paul Morphy is defending the knight with the knight. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Queen to e8, unpinning. Rook to e1, h6. Bishop to h4, knight to f4. Knight to c3. Knight to f5. Queen to d2, attacking the knight. And in this position, Paul Morphy played knight to g6. And Paul Morphy is attacking the bishop two times. Should Bowden defend the bishop? Well, he is not defending the bishop and he played knight to e4. Well, this position is little deep. So after knight to e4, we have d5. Paul Morphy didn't capture the bishop after knight to e4. Why Paul Morphy played d5? Let's take it back. So after d5, we have Ampassan, e takes on d6, nothing happens. So after knight to e4, Paul Morphy didn't capture the bishop and at first when I saw this position, I thought to myself, how Paul Morphy didn't capture the bishop? How did he miss this opportunity? So if I would play with the black pieces in this position, that means I would capture the bishop with the knight, like a fish. So Paul Morphy, one of the most accurate players in the history of chess, of course, didn't capture the bishop. But if, let's say, knight takes bishop, then knight takes knight. After knight takes on h4, black is a piece up. But then we have knight to f6. We have this killer move, forking the king and the queen and sacrificing the knight. And what else? G takes on f6. Queen takes on h6. Attacking the knight. And look at the king's safety. This is over for black. So let's say knight to f5. Then queen to g6. That's check. The pawn is pinned. Because of the bishop. King to h8. Queen takes knight. And the next move is maybe a rook lift. Rook lift is in the menu. This is over for black. Paul Morphy saw all of these moves. And if let's say saving the knight, trying to defend the knight, of course it's not working. So queen can captures the knight, the pawn is pinned. But e takes on f6 is more deadly for black and black is getting checkmated. Wow, this is why Paul Morphy didn't capture the bishop like a fish and he played d5, forking the bishop and the knight, and not buying the trick, e takes on d6, queen to d7, knight to e5, attacking the queen, knight takes knight, d takes on e5, knight takes on h4, by Paul Morphy, and now Paul Morphy is a piece up, knight to f6, let's check, Bowden is trying, Every tricks that he has, Paul Morphy captures the knight, g takes on f6, and Bowden didn't capture the pawn on h6. He played e6, attacking the queen. Queen takes on h6 is not working because we have queen to g4 and defending everything and threatening checkmate. So if e takes on f6, queen takes on g2. Checkmate. So maybe bishop to d5, c6, bishop to e4, bishop to f5. And black is surviving. 
Well, this is not surviving, this is crashing for Black. Black is much better. Black has two extra pieces, of course. So let's get back to the game. So Bowden played e6, attacking the queen. Queen takes on d6. Queen takes on h6. Bishop takes on e6. Bishop takes, bishop f takes on e6. Rook to e4. Knight to f5. Defending the knight. And Bowden played. Rook to g4. That's check king to f7. And after this move, Bowden lost all of his hopes. And then he resigned. This is the last position of the game. Of course, Bowden resigned. Paul Morphy has two extra pieces in this position. And let me show you the possible continuation. There is nothing special. So let's say queen to h7, king to e8, rook to e4. These are the most logical moves for white. And black is surviving. Knight to d4, king to h1, rook to d8, rook to d1. And let's play a few more moves. And as you can see, black has two extra pieces in a winning position. Wow. So that's why after Paul Morphy played king to f7 at move 24, Bowden resigned. If it was no Paul Morphy against Bowden in this match, maybe Bowden would manage to win the game. But Paul Morphy made the most accurate defensive moves like a chess computer engine, but maybe if he would play it against a normal player. Of course, Black had some weakness, but Paul Morphy, as always, played the most accurate moves, and then he managed to survive. And look at this position. He has two extra pieces. So basically, this is all over for White. That's why Bowden resigned. Another very instructive chess game from 1858 by Paul Morphy. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye for now.